the 5k here. Hey friends, Roland here, and that was the end of the 5k. I'm the trail racing over Texas, San Felipe shootout. So we've done this race three times, or this will be the third time. Uh, it's a 5k at 7.30, 10K starts at 8.30, and a half marathon that starts at uh, 10.30. So I got 20 minutes here before the start, so my 5K time was like 32.43. Um, we are, it is the 18th of March, 2023. I did this last year, and then I think we did it in like 2015. So before, see where the end is there, there are stairs that we came up at the end of the race. They used to start right there and head straight down the damn stairs, which was unwise. Now they go back and start this way, which is great. A lot more safe, actually. Yeah, see there, the start line. Uh, but if you think about it, you're running like 22 and a half miles, which is a lot. And it's spaced out, so you start and then you cool down. You start and you cool down, and you start again. So it's kind of a different strategy than just a straight in balls out marathon. So it is 48 degrees per my car this morning and raining off and on. So it's a little chilly, but that's all right when you're running, but it really makes your nipples perk up when you're stopped. So anyway, I'm riding solo today. Lunchbox and the boys did not want to come freeze their butts off for six hours. And I do not have a watch, which is different. Um, mine broke a while ago in Lunchbox. I forgot it last night. She was asleep this morning, so it's all good. I ran that 5K a little faster than I wanted to, but I didn't feel like it was too fast, but I'll feel that later. So I'm going to try and slow down on the 10k and save some for the half. Um, so I'm going to go stand under this awning right here and get ready for my next race. Start of the 10k. Looks familiar. of the way through the first one. It has been raining, like sleeting and hailing the whole time. I've been in Texas for like 16, 17 years. I've never seen it hail. Snow on occasion, no hail. 
ever run through a hill before. Interesting experience. Anyway, I need to slow down. Goop here now. Not be. Sliding money mess now. It's pretty deep when it's not raining. <laughs> hey, look, there's my car. I don't know, half a mile from the finish or so. Kind of follow this road over here to that little gazebo thing. Still right if the gym knows it could run. But thus far, it hasn't really rained this second lap very much. Sorry, the camera's shaking. Started the second loop. I had to stop and pee again. It's just like a little pee, but like a torrential downpour pee. It's the fourth time since I started this. I haven't drank very much either. Anyway, the mud is getting a little gnarly. I'll be honest, my hamstrings are like completely locked up. I've never had that happen before. Three laps to go. May not be pretty, but we'll get there. So, I don't know if we can see him. Either dude up there just let me. He's on his third lap. I'm dying. He's moved. He's a lot better. Here comes now. Good job, you almost got him. Okay. They can have it, I'm gonna walk. 
Next time I'm going to catch that guy. Get moving. All right, middle of lap three of four on the half marathon. I am just exhausted. My legs are not wanting to move at all, let alone run. I feel like I've done a bunch of squats. This does not happen very often to me. I think it's because I'm carrying about 10 pounds on each foot of the freaking mud. We'll get there. Might be the turtle, but we'll get there. It's just really depressing getting passed by everybody. All right, here we go. Okay, people. Last lap. Probably gonna have to walk this one in, I'm not gonna lie. This mud crap. It's starting to dry out. It's just like, rather than slippery snot, now it's like a sticky mess. Oh. If I'm being honest, I'm not sure how many people are behind me. The girl just passed me. Oh. So, I can't hear anybody else. I couldn't hear her until she was right up on me. So what does that put us about 20 miles in? Maybe a little over. This is hard. The gaps in between the damn races make it brutal. I hear a bell. Or I'm losing it. Might be a bird. Anyway, this is definitely a low point. This whole last mar half marathon here was just, I don't know, my legs were not having it at all today. But it's all right. Maybe the turtle, I don't know. Hopefully they don't leave without me. All right, let's put another mile or so in. I get to the water stop because I'm completely out of everything. All right, here we go. Oh, oh my God. As bad as this hurts, and as much as I think I'm like the last one, how bad this sucks. It is a very pretty day now that it stopped raining and kind of warmed up just a little bit. I don't know, we're trying. Maybe we got hopefully less than a mile left. We're going to get it. Hopefully they haven't left yet. All right. Stop it at the top. All right, people. There's the line. He's got music playing, so I'm gonna get a strike. But good lord, we're almost done. Okay, people, there's the half marathon and all the others. <clears throat> so I got an email that said I finished in 2:21, which there ain't no way. It's just now two o'clock, so. I'm thinking that's like 321, so we'll see what they do in the official results. Um, oh, God. 
Don't ever let anyone tell you that race or that series isn't brutal, especially with all the damn mud. So I know there was at least six people behind me. Um, yeah, the course is right there. Obviously, I told you I saw my car. Saw three people. One guy passed, came right after me. Actually, I saw four people. One guy came after me, and then I heard him cheering for one as I was walking away. Oh. Man, that's brutal. So, I guess I don't really have any complaints other than the damn hailing cold rain. It says 52 now, so it warmed up about a little bit. Um, 45 is a lot different than 52. So, um, yeah, five out of five Keanu's. Nothing to really complain about. The uh, race is great. I like the new course that he's got this year. It's a lot easier to not have a bum rush down that damn staircase at the beginning. Um, the only complaint I really have is that the medals say what, where, but they don't have a year. So we'll see next year if he chooses to use these same ones or not. I don't know. Um, oh, there's one more. Seven, at least. She's got her trekking pole. She's getting serious. Assuming that's a racer. There's a lot of... Obviously, this is an open park. Um, all right, well. Keep it real. And we'll see you freaking tomorrow for the Seabrook Half Marathon. <laughs> that should be fun with my legs feeling as they do right at this moment. All right, well. See you then. Thanks for watching. Remember the sweatpants are cool.